This fight is one I have been thinking about. This is going to be an absolute banger. It's Whitney Johns versus 3-6 Barbie. Come on down, ladies. Again, just tense, man. This is... Tense. We saw a face-to-face -face between you uh, ladies earlier this week, so it's not the first time you've come face-to-face, -face and, and things got heated there. Let me, let me come first to you. You seem to think that that this you know, Barbie's hiding behind uh, her facade and that she's got a lot of nerves and being worried coming into this fight with you. I've seen mixed messages from her and so I'm still trying to get a read on her, but I do think she's kind of full of shit. And you, yeah, well, I mean, okay. We'll I mean, people it. are getting straight to this tonight. Yeah. I love this. Uh, and, and Barbie, you've said openly, you want to be the first woman to get a, what, a female influencer knockout. Now we're here, 48 hours away. Your opponent's sitting right there. You still think that's real? It can yeah, happen? I think that's a real possibility. I think she underestimates me severely. Um, and I'm, I'm ready to show her. Barbie, you saw her kind of for the first time in real time yesterday at the open workout. Anything there that gave you any cause for pause or anything that shook you up at all? Any? Her gas tank. She's come at me for mine. I was so surprised to see that she was breathing so hard. And she even said, oh, you know, I was breathing hard. I'm, I'm nervous. Well, if you're nervous there, you're going to be nervous in the ring. So I think you're going to be nervous in the fight, too. I mean, it's your first fucking fight. And so I think everybody across the board is going to be that way. And especially know, when you jump I'm... into the open workout, there's no warm up. You, you jump right in there. That's how it goes. But just wait I never commented on your, your stamina. You came at me saying your stamina is crazy. You're relying on me being shit. To get you to I'm relying on my own abilities, and my abilities it's not what you've said. are there. So I just know that you're going to gas out. You've had a horrible weight cut. Are you going to make weight tomorrow? I'm 140. That's all you need to know. You are right now? That's all you need to do know. Do we need a ninth chair here with, for the alternate? Who do we have for the alternate? Because we might need to, to redo this interview. Wow. Wow. Um, Bobby, you... You She's ran. waiting. She's waiting. She's Are you hoping she doesn't make weight and you get a, a... I know she is. I know she is. Oh, I'm, I'm happy to fight her. I'll fight her right now. I just, I just don't think she's going to be able to make it happen. And if she does, she's going to feel like shit. She so sat gonna... there with her fingers crossed hoping I'm not going to make weight. I know it. I would love to fight you. I'm excited to fight you. I think that you are going to be a really strong competitor. I didn't come here to do easy shit. Like I came here to challenge myself and to test my skills. So that is exactly what this fight will be if you fucking make it. Bobby, you, you ranked Whitney number three when you were going through all these competitors. How hard a fight do you think this one's going to be for you? I think this will be a really hard fight. I, I think that, you know, out of all the girls, she's up there. Um, but, yeah, it comes down. Both of us ha don't have experience. Um, anyone can look good on pads. Anyone can have stamina. Anyone can run a million miles. But can you run a million miles while you're getting hit in the face? Can you hit hit back when you're getting hit in the face. We'll find out, you know? But I do think it's gonna be a hard fight. It'll probably be um, probably one of the harder fights in this tournament. I think that's a good point as well. The majority of, of all of you women are coming into this fight as your, your first step into the boxing ring. People talk about you can train your way like, but it, it's you know, how you react to a punch. Whitney, how do you think you're gonna react if you eat one of Barbie's shots? I've been eating punches by professionals in sparring sessions multiple times a week, week after week, by professional boxing and MMA fighters who have been, you know... With or without headgear? With, with headgear, because I like to save my brain cells, but I do think that it's like, you, you eat those punches and I keep going. Like, I never was phased for one second and they were cracking me. So, it's, you know, that's, I have no qualms about that. She definitely does not hit as hard as those bitches, I'll tell you that. What do you got to say to that, Barbie? You'll find out on the night what it feels like to get hit without headgear. It is not the same game. Oh, is that why you're so loopy? You've been sparring without headgear. It makes sense. Okay. Wow. Wow. Um, look, Whitney, you've been ranked in the top three by the majority of the women here. Is, is that fully with confidence coming to this tournament that everyone's looking at you going, you're one of the favorites here? Feels good, yeah. I, th I think all of us came here with no experience and like, oh, can I do this? And you have those moments, like going through a fight camp, I say it's like, it's like having bipolar because one moment you're like, fuck yeah, I can do this. And then the next you're like, oh my gosh, am I going to get my ass kicked? You know, it's very humbling. And to do this for real is very humbling. Um, so I, I like that people ranked me in top three, but 
again, like most of these girls, there's very minimal footage on most of these girls. There could be some wizards that we have no idea. Like some of these girls could be gangsters that we have no clue about until this first fight. That's why this first fight night is going to be so interesting to see how everybody performs and what they can pull out. I asked Barbie what she thought about your open workout. I didn't really get your thoughts on hers. She was cracking pads yesterday. I think we all know here she hits hard. Yeah. Did you see anything there? Any holes in her game? Not to give up strategy or anything, but did you see anything you could take advantage of there? I think she hits really hard. I think if she – and she keeps saying, I'm going for the knockout, I'm going for the knockout. That's like the people that are going for the knockout and they're just trying to hit power shots the whole time, that's why I'm saying you're going to gas out is because that is the most tiring thing of all. You're going to be hitting and missing. And then with that footwork, the way that I saw is not going to really be on your side either. So, Barbie, what is Whitney's biggest weakness that you see? I think overconfidence. I don't think her footwork was anything special. I don't think that, her, you know, I don't think that she is taking me as seriously as she might say she is. I think, you know, just from her saying, oh, my, my fight camp's way harder than your fight camp. You don't know my fight camp. You don't know anything. So I think that she's way too confident and that might get her down. Because, yeah, once you get hit in the face without headgear in 12 ounce gloves, it is a different game. It doesn't matter what you think you know. It, whatever, you know. You're just gonna, it's going to go black, and you're going you're gonna to be relying on whatever. Have you knocked anybody out? What, is, what makes you so confident that you're going to knock someone out in this tournament? Have you done this before? No, I've never knocked anyone out. So but... you're just conjecture. So keep talking. I'm not... I'm not entertaining you. You have a superiority complex. I'm going to step in the ring, and I'm going to knock you out, and that's what we're going to do. A superiority complex. <laughs> Whitney, what do you say to that? I just think she's just is all I'm hearing, and that's okay. She's there's a lot. There's a lot of confidence coming out of you. We've all read it all week, particularly in the face to face. What do you read into Barbie? Does she seem confident? Does she seem nervous? Um, I think that she has very mixed reads. I was I, in the first matchup. She was extremely aggressive and trying to play the villain, and then online she was extremely like a chatty and keyboard warrior and um, i never even commented on anything and then the on, face online. in the face to face you had multiple quotes about how i'm scared that and i'm ready for the, a humble loss and event. all this stupid shit that was from the event okay well it was said and I'm not, and I'm then not in the face to face she was warrior. meek i don't know if she was weak and tired from the weight cut which is understandable but i was kind of shocked at that too but now she's got some flavor to her again so we'll find out well, ladies, from keyboard warriors to in-ring warriors this Saturday, the over arena. Um, let's get you guys to face off. Uh, this again, up right away. Enough, yeah, you're, mate, you're taking this one for sure. Wow. Barbie, any final words? No words. No words. This this one is gonna be a banger. Whitney Johns versus Barbie. Look, wait, we've had two fights come down. And again, my interest has been only stoked by those two. That is going to be a banger. We had some soul reading going on there between both of them. I don't know what to make of it. I think both are confident. I think both are just ready to get in. And both are talking about knocking each other out. It wasn't just Barbie. Whitney said, listen, we're all here to get knockouts. We're all here to put people on the canvas. So that one is, like I said, don't miss it. Man, that could be a blink. And you yeah. miss it one come Saturday night. Yeah. Um,